All right, what's up everybody? So in today's video, I figured that I would answer a question that I've been getting asked as of recently since I got the SM7B, and that's how do I get my audio to sound the way that it does using this microphone? Now, it's actually fairly simple, pretty easy to do, so I figured that I would show you guys how I do that along with showing you guys my vocal chain that I use while using this microphone. Now, I like to think that the audio that I've been getting out of this microphone sounds pretty good. Good. So if you are interested in figuring out how you can make your audio sound similar to how mine does, then stick around. With all that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. Now, if you've been following me for some time now, you will know that I live by the philosophy, less is more. Now, how exactly that translates to audio is like this. When you go to compress and EQ and use a noise gate and whatever processing step that you take, take very small baby steps. Now you're gonna see how exactly that looks with my vocal chain because this is a prime example of using tiny little steps that really just add up in the grand scheme of things. I'm gonna break down my vocal chain that I use when I am using the SM7B and then I will show you guys how exactly you can mimic this entire vocal chain with some simple plugins that more than likely your DAW already carries. With the only exception really being the preamp as in my opinion, I just don't think that plugins do a good job at really capturing the essence of a good solid preamp. So if that's a sound that you want to get, then just go out and invest in a budget preamp. Again, my favorite budget preamp right now currently on the market is the Art Pro MPA2. In my opinion, nothing out there beats it, especially when you figure out how much this thing costs. It is very, very affordable. The tone that you get out of this thing is fantastic. So again, with the exception really being the preamp, if you want that analog saturated tone then just go and invest in a budget preamp with that being said i have the sm7b running into the art pro mpa2 that signal from the mpa2 is then going into my dbx 266 xs which is a gate and a compressor and then the audio from that is then going into the apollo solo which is then being recorded in my daw i'm a fan of recording with a little bit of compression and like i said less is more so when i am compressing prior to going into my daw i'm looking to only really get at most three decibels of gain reduction and at the same time i'm using a two to one ratio so it's definitely not very compressed by any means whatsoever uh, you can compress a lot harder if you want i just like the way that two to one sounds and reducing from three to four decibels it just sounds natural it does a good job with catching those peaks where it might be louder uh, at certain points during your recording i like recording with compression i like the way that it sounds and at the same time the noise gate on this unit is really really good uh, if you're somebody like me and you're recording in a horrible space a space that isn't treated whatsoever having something like this can definitely save your recordings so that noise gate does a great job at minimizing the amount of ambience and room reflections that gets captured in this microphone also not to mention this microphone is a little bit noisy so the noise gate does a great job with cutting out that humming and hissing sound when i am not speaking all in all, this unit right here, the 266XS, is amazing to have and pair it with a good preamp. So this, in my opinion, is a perfect setup for this microphone. This has more than enough gain to drive the SM7B. And then when you route the signal from this preamp into here, you have a little bit of control before you record that signal into your DAW. And finally, after that signal is recorded into my DAW, I just do a very slight amount of EQing. I usually just add a high shelf around 8K and boost by about two to three decibels, whichever sounds more natural and overall more pleasant to me, that's what I'll go with. Uh, again, two to three decibels, not a whole lot. And then if the audio is uh, sibilant or anything, and I just, I think the S's are a little too harsh, I'll go in there and add a de -esser. Now I'm on the SM7B, so sibilance really isn't an issue. So at that point, I probably just would leave it how it is. Very, very basic, very simple. And in my opinion, that's why the audio sounds the way, uh, sounds as great as it does. There's just not a lot of processing going on. 
the minute that you start adding a ton of processing is the minute that the audio just doesn't sound natural and organic and i think that's what people fall in love with people like the organic sound of the recording when you can tell it's processed it just gets it gets distracting more than anything it's 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 like you you hear it and then you can't not hear that going forward so i want everything to just sound natural as it can in my opinion that's the way that that's the audio that i like to listen to at least uh when it comes to voiceovers so this is the setup that i would use if i was going to sit down and film a video for youtube very basic very simple to do and once i have this set i don't have to touch it anymore i can leave it exactly where it is and i know that my audio will sound exactly the same as it did last time and I'm only using basically one plugin after I get into my DAW, just a basic EQ with a high shelf, plain and simple. Now, if you wanted to replicate this sound in your DAW with plugins, all you would need is a noise gate, a compressor, and then an EQ. Plain and simple. Again, I like using a physical setup like this so that once I have it all set up, I don't have to go back in the future and tweak anything. I just leave it exactly where it is, hit record, hit record on the camera, start filming. Very, very simple and exactly the way that I like it. And again, if you do wanna get that preamp, analog saturated tone, you definitely want to invest in an actual preamp. And the one that I would recommend currently right now in 2020 is the Art Pro MPA2. You can catch these things going for $200 or less used and buying used. There's nothing wrong with it. In fact, this 266X is used. You can even tell because I don't have a knob on one of the, one of the little parameters. I don't have an actual knob on there. Anyhow, it works perfectly. It gets the job done. It does exactly what it needs to do so don't be afraid to buy used and you can get yourself into something that is going to drastically improve the quality of your recordings what I want to know is what do you guys think of this vocal chain what do you think of the 266 XS paired with the art pro MPA 2 also if there's anything that you think that I should add to this vocal chain prior to recording in my DAW I would love to know and hear from you guys I want to make this a discussion and hear if there's anything that you think would enhance this vocal chain or just in general what is a perfect ideal vocal chain for you guys anyways thank you all for watching if you haven't already yet be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon beside it so that you can stay notified for whenever I drop my videos in the future with that being said I will see you all in my next video take care everybody peace out